And just to clarify, like if you have a transcortical, you know, sensory aphasia, you know, some of the symptoms are listed on this overhead, right? You have, you know, language comprehension, significantly impaired, even without any sort of primary damage or direct damage to Wernicke's area. You have these things called paraphasias, where we all do this, um, where you, you know, I slipped on the lice, right, instead of ice. Um, or you have these, these are phonemic. They sound the same, but they're the wrong word. Um, but you, you, you slip the wrong word in. Uh, or verbal paraphasias where you, um, uh, you know, say, I worked on the television. Oh, I mean, computer. So, I mean, and these, we have these when we're tired, you know, when we're, when we're not paying attention, when we're distracted. I mean, all these things slip in because these networks are not as, uh, you know, sharing information as efficiently and effectively as they need to in order to generate you know, the proper word choice, you know, for, uh, for what you're going to ultimately say. Right? Um, again, patients, though, with both transcortical and uh, uh, transcortical sort of motor phages and transcortical sensory phages are still able to repeat words and phrases. And that's interesting because remember with other primary aphasias like Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia and conduction aphasia, they can't repeat because you're damaging, you know, what seems to be a pretty critical kind of output of this posterior network, Wernicke's area, um, and this pretty critical sort of, you know, region in the um, the uh, the frontal lobe that's involved with production, you know, Broca's, um, or the connection between them. And so when you hear something, you can't shift it forward to, to generate, you know, uh, a repeated statement. But with the transcortical and the trans, uh, you know, motor phages and sensory phages, uh, where you disconnect Broca's, you know, from other areas in the frontal lobe for transcortical motor, or you disconnect, you know, Wernicke's area in these posterior regions from other areas, uh, you keep these, that connection sort of intact. And so people are still able to typically repeat what is said to them uh, because they can hear it and sh send it forward for expression. So um, that is a difference really between some of these, you know, uh, uh, early primary aphasias that were identified like Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia. Those individuals cannot repeat words and phrases, uh, but individuals with the transcortical motor or the transcortical um, sensory aphasias are able to repeat. Oops.